You can also use AT commands to configure Tarang modules. Just type three plus symbols to enter into command mode. Do not type anything before or after the plus symbols. Just type three plus symbols, not even enter. Now it is in command mode. You can use the AT commands. We shall see some of the AT commands. AT commands for Tarang requires a command category. After AT, you should type this command category. Some of the command categories are G for general command, N for networking, S for serial interface, I for IO control and P for power control. We shall see the general category first. ATG under general category you have RD to restore to default. Type RD and uh, enter. So now the Tarang module is restored to factory settings, default settings. AT G is the command category and WR to write it on the memory. If you are not writing it, if you are not using this command, then all your settings are lost. It will not be stored. To exit the command mode, you type AT G is the command category, general category and EX. Now it has come out of the command mode. So till you give this command, it will be, till you give this command, it will exist in the command mode. So type three plus symbols to enter into the command mode. We'll see the next category, N, AT, N, N is the network category and CH is to set read channel number. Now the channel number is uh, 0, 0, this is the default uh, setting. You can set up to 16 channels, 0 to F in hex, the default is 0. Next command is AT, N, MY, MY is to set read 16 bit source address, the default is 1000 0, 0, 0 hex. To know the destination address, type AT, command category N and then DA. This is also default address is 1000 hex. Next AT command is uh, category serial interface, AT, yes. BD is to read or set the baud rate. Default is uh, hex 3. This means uh, baud rate is 9600. You can also check the version by typing AT V HW. Now the version is 2. To know the serial number AT N SL. This is the serial number of the Tarang module. These two commands are only read-only commands. Instead of using TMFT software, you can make use of any terminal softwares to configure Tarang modules. We shall use a cool terminal an open source uh, terminal software. Double click to cool terminal. This is the welcome window of cool term. Click on options. You click rescan serial ports. Now the terminal displays the com ports it recognized. You select the COM13 COM port and you confirm that the baud rate is 9600 and the other settings are 8 and 1. And under terminal, the terminal mode should be RAW mode so that uh, each key pressed so the terminal mode should be RAW mode 
so that it sends each key pressed as it is and you click on local echo so that uh, you see what you type click ok now this uh, first in now this first instance of uh, cool term is configured for com 13 9600 8 and 1 now fire up the second instance of cool terminal This is the second instance of cold terminal. Click on options, rescan serial ports, and select COM14 under terminal. You check up local echo and then click OK. Now you can see the second uh, instance of the terminal configured for COM14. Now you click on connect. So now this first terminal is connected to COM. 13 it is connected to the Tharang module at COM 13 you click on the second terminal and click connect now it is connected to COM 14 second terminal is connected to COM 14 Tharang module you type some text inside the first terminal you can receive it in the second terminal same way type uh, some text inside the second terminal you can receive it inside the first terminal you can also enter the command mode and use the AT commands ATG RD to restore ATG 